welcome to my channel. My name is Gemma and today I'm doing an ASOS haul and a little bit of a new look one at the end. <laughs> now just a little bit of a pre-warning, this haul is over 50% shoes because recently I've gone up a foot size. Like how is that possible? I have reached the age where that shouldn't happen anymore yet recently, literally overnight, my feet have gone up a size and every time I try to shoe with my old size it's far too small and I've had to buy new shoes. I know this is a first world problem but it's a problem nonetheless so I've had to shop and find all new shoes that I love and this is kind of me showing you a bunch that I got. I'm going to start with clothing though because I know that's the bit people tend to find more interesting. I don't know, maybe you like shoes more but I'm going to start with clothing. Um, the first thing is this top that I'm currently wearing which is just this really simple black off the shoulder top. I just got the sleeves kind of pushed up because it's really warm in here. But if you're a massive fan of the Bardo trend like I am but you struggle because of the fact that you have to evaluate your day and decide whether or not you're going to be doing like a lot of this um, not like flying or conducting, just moving. <laughs> because they pop up so much, they like come up so often. These are like proper tight to your shoulders and they're so comfortable and such a like good basic to have. I've been wearing this so much chucked into like jeans or skirts like I have on today. And I have a couple of this style in different colours and they're just so much more comfortable than the usual just off the shoulder baggy ones. They're just like a really, really good summer essential. So that's the first one that I got and I can't remember the price but I will link everything down below. Next I have this jacket which is just from a brand called Milk Kit that's on ASOS and I picked this up mainly because of the kind of cute frills at the bottom. I loved this kind of ruffly detail and I like that it's a little bit cropped. These jackets have actually been a big thing for so many years and they kind of keep like fluctuating in popularity like one minute they'll be like worn by everyone and they'll kind of go to the back of your wardrobe and then they'll come out again um, and I've just never loved it. I've never liked these military jackets. Uh, until I saw this one because I just thought this was such a cute little detail and it made it a lot more feminine and a lot less I can't think of the word that doesn't sound insulting like they're just a bit hobo -y. I generally just have never really liked this trend of these sorts of jackets but this one I love I love how thin and lightweight it's also got this little patch on the arm and it's just got like two pockets on the front. I got this one in the small to medium and it fits me perfectly and is really oversized so I promise you that if you are like a 12 you can still get the small to medium and if you're a 12 upwards the medium to large will fit you because I did buy that one initially and set it back because it was just so oversized. Next up I have a pair of jeans that I am obsessed with. I usually am not a huge fan of jeans, I just feel really boring in them, but these ones are just that slightly bit different. They're just this high waisted like super skinny jean, but then when you get down to the bottom, they have these like super cool flares. So this is still all fitted to your leg, but then these flare bits at the bottom like go out huge and they're just all frayed at the edges and they proper kick out when you've got them on because like the leg is so skinny and they're such a good fit they like fit me like glue but these bits literally like I feel like I could spin and you know like when you're in like a massive skirt and it like goes out all around you that's what these do but just at the ankle which is so cool and I really like them with ankle boots like sticking over the top of them I just think it looks really really cool and I just saw that they brought them out in black as well so I'm so tempted to go back and get the black pair because I don't know, they're just so different to, you know, normal boring skinny jeans. Moving on to the pile of shoes, these ones went down incredibly well on my Instagram. And these are these silver boots with a little tortoise shell thing. And they have this bit, which is weird. Like, I remember back in the day, all the guys were in these bracelets and they'd have like weird things engraved on them or whatever. And they were so chabby and so cringy. But on this pair of boots, I just really, really love them. And I just think they look really cool. My only like downfall of these is I feel like the toe might be a little bit too pointy. Like let me know what you think in the comments, but I don't know, it kind of makes me feel a bit clown shoe-esque because of how pointy it is. And I don't know if I'm into that, but I really love the Western style. I really love the silver and everything about it. Just, I don't know, I just feel like this would like be a weapon or something. Next up I have this pair of boots which I am obsessed with. These are like the most stunning things I've ever seen ever. <laughs> 
I absolutely love this trend at the moment. ASOS have so many pairs of boots that are just completely embroidered or floral or anything and I have a wish list of about six or seven that I am absolutely in love with at the moment. But I narrowed it down to this pair being my favourite. I just love the navy and that it's got the black in there to make them a bit more wearable and obviously this little like hint of kind of a coppery orange which is awesome. And I just thought they were so nice. They're like the perfect heel height. The only issue is I bought them in a seven because as I said my feet have got bigger and they're massive, they're huge and then I also bought the six oh, to like compare them to, to like think oh maybe they'll just come up big and the six is tiny so I don't really know what I'm going to do whether or not I'm going to keep the seven and just wear them with really really big thick socks. Next up are these trainers and I'm really not a trainers kind of girl, I'm a boots girl through and through. But I saw these and I couldn't resist. I just love the kind of matching soles and the matching shoe and the matching laces. I just think they're really like, they're really, they're like a simple statement if you get what I mean. These with a pair of black jeans just look awesome and they're just like a really cool throw on. These are actually from the men's section. I work in menswear. I was looking for a bunch of shoes for a styling thing and I saw these and we ordered them in like every colour and I had to go get this pair for myself because the colour is just amazing. I love them and they're just such a... They just like stand out so much for how simple they are. Okay, moving on to the new look pieces. Again, it's mainly shoes but I have one piece of clothing and that is this top which is just this like super silky, just simple little spaghetti strap cami. Um, and it says petite, but believe me, it is not petite. I am five foot nine and it fits me perfectly great. I meant to say fine and it came out great and it was like grime. Anyway, <laughs> um, this was only 10 pound and I just thought it was so cute. And it's also double layered, like the front of it. So if you are someone that doesn't like to wear bras, you could get away with this because as I said, it's like reinforced. <laughs> But um, I just think this underneath the military style jacket looks so cute together because it's the perfect like rugged, like uh, what's that? It's the perfect clash of kind of more manly, feminine and also like rough and like sophisticated and everything. I just really like them together. Back to the shoes, I picked up this pair, which are just the slingback silver ones with a really chunky heel. And I've been after a pair of shoes like these for so long, and I saw these and they were like, how much were they? They were 19 pound, which is crazy cheap. So that's what initially drew them to me. But I'm not sure how I feel about them, because I think, because the toe is so round, it feels very school shoe. Um, so I don't really know what I think about that. I think I'd rather it be pointy, but I really love the slingback style. They're super comfy and I love the size of the heel and everything. And I feel like they're super wearable and I, I just love silver shoes at the moment. I'm really obsessed with them. So I love them all for that aspect. It's just, I don't know, I don't know if the like ends of them look quite cheap. So let me know what you think of them in the comments, if I should keep them, because they are really, really cheap and they are a really good kind of simple, dressy throw on sort of thing so I really like the kind of general idea of them I just don't know if I should like whoop, look for a backpack <laughs> and the last thing is the most expensive thing believe it or not from New Look and it is this pair of boots which I am in love with they are a real leather pair of boots so they cost a ridiculous £60 like New Look you could not charge £60 for a pair of shoes if ASOS hasn't done it you can't do it <laughs> But I really love the kind of 60s look of them and I've been wanting a pair of like leather white shoes for so long because I just think they look so cool and even though they're monochrome so they can go with a lot they're also a bit out there and a bit cool and I just really love this pair like I'm feeling like I'm talking a bit creepy while staring at them <laughs> but I just think they're really cute they're my favourite style of shoe they're just the ankle boot with the little block heel and I just think they look so pretty and they just have the zip on the back and they've got like the real leather tag that I will take off um, but I brought these in a six which is a mistake because as I said my feet are bigger so I've got to send them back and get the bigger size but I'm totally in love with these anyway that was everything that I picked up let me know in the comments what's just your favorite or if you want anything from here um, and also if you've got any good places that sell just really nice cheap shoes because I'm on like a whole reboot here but thank you so much for watching please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe if you're not already as well and I will see you again soon bye